Okay, did you know OBS 29.1, which has been out for about a week now, supports AV1 streaming to YouTube? And I wanna to talk today about the cheapest possible way you can get up and running because if you're working with strict data caps from your ISP or just slow upload speeds, you can get higher quality with the same bit rate. So let's look at the cheapest possible option out there. I give to you the Intel Arc A380. Now this GPU as a gaming card is really not that great. It's just not a very strong GPU, but it does have a few things going for it, which makes it a potential uh, add-in card for your actual currently existing PC. So let me explain just a little bit. If you are under a certain set of circumstances and they're somewhat rigid in that you have a tower PC, like you have a desktop PC and your motherboard has a spare X16 slot in it and you have a spare eight pin PCIe power connector or you can create one through adapters, then you could potentially, even if you don't have a GPU that currently supports AV1 encoding, you could actually just drop in the $120 A380 and suddenly the whole AV1 ecosystem of encoding and streaming to YouTube would be available to you through OBS 29.1. Now there is a leap of faith that does have to happen here if you go this route in that driver support when you have multiple GPUs in a system Sometimes those drivers just don't like to quite play nice. I am not by any means guaranteeing you that you could just drop in the ASRock A380 and have a fantastic experience. But what I am saying is there is no reason if you sort of hit those requirements, there's no reason to upgrade something like an RTX 3070, 3080, 3090 to an RTX 4000 card if all you're chasing is AV1 encoding. Especially because we're talking about a GPU that you could just add in as if it was a hardware encoder and you're really not using it for anything else. This is a double slot card with a single fan. So while it may block some air intake into your currently existing GPU, it likely won't block all the airflow and you should be able to still generate solid airflow if you get creative with fan placement. But this is a really good price saver. If you're just looking to try to save a little bit of money, get onto the AV1 encoding bandwagon and really up your streaming quality without spending an arm and a leg on a newer GPU, this could be a really good option for a lot of streamers in that category. So I guess this is more of a PSA that this card A still exists and probably is actually more relevant now than it ever has been before. So those of you out there that actually own an ARC A380, which probably about five of you watching this video, but if you do, Give us a quick review of the card itself, whether it's the ASRock version or a different version. Let us know, are you happy with that card? And follow up, have you tried AV1 encoding, whether it's just recording locally or actually streaming with it? And if so, let us know what your experience was because I would love to hear about that in those comments down below. And also I will link this uh, Newegg listing. It's not an affiliate link or anything, but I will link it just so it's easier for you to find in case you're looking to track down one of these cards for this exact purpose. But otherwise, YouTube, queue up some more videos from the channel, and if you like it, give it a like, share, subscribe, all those things are helpful for the channel, and of course, those comments down below. But otherwise, I'm out of here. That's my sign off today. Go, go watch something else.